So your exes are coming back, Libra. So you have the High Priestess, the Ten of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups. This is about how you were dealing with uh, someone. Well, let's start here. The Six of Cups. Okay. Um, you were talking to somebody. You stopped talking to them for a little while. And now they're coming back. And the reason why I'm saying that is because of the Six of Cups. Right? An old flame trying to uh, show you that they've changed. Here's the problem. The High Priestess, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups represents how they haven't actually changed. They just want you to be distracted by them telling you that they love you or them telling you that they want to get back together with you, that you don't actually see what's really going on. The Knight of Cups. You Libras have changed. You've become someone better. But you're not supposed to get back together with them because they are going to do the very same thing that they did to you the first time that got you to break up with them or even worse. They're actually planning on being with you just so that they can steal from you, okay? They see you Libras as people that have money and that's what it is that they're interested in. The Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles represents just that. They want, Queen of Pentacles is you. They want you to overperform and be on point for them, right? While the King of Pentacles, they relax, do nothing, and they're basically practically asleep. They have to do nothing at all in order for you Libras to be interested in them. They think that they got you that under control. And like I, like I was talking about the Queen of Cups and the Five of Swords, right? They check in your temperature to see if you would really accept them back in the first place. And if you Libras do, then the Five of Swords, they're planning on psyching you out, trying to make it seem like psych. They was never really interested in you in the first place. They just wanted to hang out with you on some rebound stuff or to take some money from you, right? Cash, gifts and prizes. They wanted all of those types of things. They're not really planning on coming back for anything serious. So the moon represents how you can actually turn this around on its head is for you Libras to actually leave them alone, stay away from them. And the Six of Wands and the Nine of Cups is about, so as a result, right, this will have them wondering what's up with you, right? And where have you gone? Why is it that you stopped talking to them? Because they're, this, they're too dysfunctional. They're interested in the mystery of it, right? So when you decide to ghost them, then the tables will have turned because they'll be interested in you. And then, of course, you don't actually date them because then you can just dub them and go meet other people, right? And potentially meet somebody that's better matched for you. So let's clarify. Let's clarify the moon. Let's clarify the moon. So to clarify the moon, you have the Eight of Swords, the Five of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and then you have the Temperance. So to clarify the moon, again, when you ghost them, they're not going to know what to think. The Eight of Wands, the Five of Wands, they're going to be upset at the fact that you Libras turned it on its head because they thought that they would essentially get back together with you, stay with you for a little while, and then do the very same thing to you that you actually did to them, which is for them to ghost you first and have you all upset. But the fact that you're doing it to them first, it just, it just, it, it gets them upset. It really enrages them. It gets them big mad. The Eight of Wands and the Temperance, right, is about how, so now they're going to be the ones reaching out to you, giving you a call, finding out what you're doing. The Temperance represents the best thing for you to do is to ignore all of their phone calls, <laughs> okay? Ignore each and every single one of their phone calls as you continue to have fun with your own life. Because again, they're interested in the chase and everything that they can get out of the chase. Let's clarify the Nine of Cups. So a Four of Cups, yeah. Six of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and the Devil. Right, they always wanna be in charge of their relationships. And that to them, there's no such thing as compromising whatsoever. But yet they want you to do all the work for them. You got to be the one to call. And again, they didn't really think that you Libras would stop talking to them. But they don't know who you are. 
So y'all don't, they don't know that y'all are air signs and that means something. Y'all can ghost on someone very quickly. The Queen of Cups and the Devil is about how uh, you Libras, right? They're even going to run game like trying to tell you that they love you. Like I just said right a few minutes ago. They may tell you that they really do want to spend the rest of their life with you. Just big lies. And this is something that a lot of you uh, Libras really do have to watch out for. They don't mean any of it. That's why it is that you it's best for you Libras to ghost them. Right? And stop messing with them. Because... You know, they're getting played out by other people when, when they go out into the world and try to run this type of trick knowledge, right? Or this trickery on other people. But when they come to you and you're really the, the, the people that showed them love in the past, they don't respect you. So you have to learn to allow them to let their life turn out like that. That's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. Go ahead. I actually have a playlist of all of my Libra videos somewhere around here. Please make sure to check it out. Uh, watch them all if you want. Watch as many as you want. If you're a cross watcher and you're curious about what I'm saying in the other uh, Zodiac Science Tarot reading videos, check those out. Peace.